We are officially into international break number two in the PWHL, but unlike the first stoppage, the stakes are a little higher this time. The Women's World Championship, just days away in Canada, looking for redemption against the United States. And since we're talking worlds, we had to bring back on Carissa Donkin to break this thing down. Chris, let's jump right into it because Canada looking for redemption last year, home soil, they lose to the Americans. This year, the tournament is south of the border and Canada looking to return the favor. Uh, before we get into the finer points of this tournament, your, your thoughts on Canada and should Canadian hockey fans be excited about possibly getting back at the Americans? Yeah, I mean, I think, like you said, Rob, redemption is the key word. I think that had to sting a lot last year um, for that Canadian team to lose on home soil um, after a tournament where they spent so much time celebrating the history of Canadian women's hockey in Brampton. So definitely that's that's what the team is thinking about going into this tournament. Um, we don't see a whole lot of changes to the roster. I was talking to Canadian GM Gina Kingsbury last week, and she said, you know, we thought we had a pretty good tournament last year. Everything kind of fell apart in the last five minutes of, of that gold medal game against the U.S., but she thought they played well, you know, throughout the rest of that game. So she didn't really see a need to do anything dramatic or blow it up or anything like that. And, and they feel confident going into this year's tournament. So Chris, obviously this year's tournament feels a little different because we have the PWHL leading us in and someone who's missed three of those games, a uh, pretty big name for Team Canada, Marie-Philippe Poulin. Uh, how concerned should not only Team Canada be, but fans who are going to watch this tournament about her injury? Because you talk about someone who's just been a staple on this team. It is MPP. What we know about her status so far at World, so I asked Gina Kingsbury, the Canadian GM, about this last week, and she said that she's doing everything that she can to uh, be ready, and she's doing great in the plan that they've come up with for her. Um, and then we got another clue over the weekend from Jared Book, who covers the, the PWHL Montreal team. He was at the pre-tournament game in Kingston, and Canadian coach Troy Ryan said he's confident she'll be ready to go. So it's just a matter of, how much will we see her? When will we see her? But I think you'll see her at Worlds. You look at the American roster, there are 14 college players on that roster. They're, they're trying to not only build a team that can win this year's championship, but give players experience that'll maybe help them in future championships. And then you look at Canada's, and there's only three college players on the roster. Do you think the Americans are doing a better job at maybe integrating some of that youth and not just going to you know, for lack of a better term, going to the same well over and over again with the players we're so familiar with? It's definitely a different approach than what we see with Team Canada, where they kind of have that same, honestly, same veteran core that they had at the last Olympics. We haven't seen a ton of young players kind of come into the program. You know, talking to Gina Kingsbury about this, she said a lot of people probably would like us to be integrating youth a little bit faster than we have been, but we're very careful about how we do it. They want to make sure that when they bring a player in, she's 100% ready. And they feel really good about the culture that they have with their veteran core, and they don't really want to disrupt that. So it's they're very cautious really about bringing anyone in, not just, just youth, but anybody new at all. Um, now, is that a better way to do things than, than what the Americans have done? I think that remains to be seen. I think the U.S. has looked a little faster than Canada at times. Um, I think it certainly prepares the U.S. more for the next Olympics and beyond by, by bringing those young players in. Um, so I think we'll have to see what happens at this year's World Championship. And if the Canadians lose for a second year in a row, maybe we see a bit of a shakeup there. So we've talked an awful lot about the Canadians and the Americans, but this is not a two-team tournament. But let's face it, ever since women's hockey, you know, made its debut on the world stage, it's always been Canada and the U.S. and then everyone else. We've been kind of waiting for that gap to close, and it has been closing a little bit. My question to you, is it closing fast enough, or are we still kind of waiting for the rest of the world to catch up? And, and maybe a follow-up to that, who else should we be looking at besides Canada and the U.S. that could either pull off an upset or, you know, compete for that bronze medal? Absolutely. And before I talk about that, I should say, you know, I've heard people say, well, is the rivalry between Canada and the U.S., is that really, you know, as heated as it once was? You see all these players playing together in the PWHL. Uh, absolutely, it is. <laughs> it's 
it's, you know, these people are not friends when they go out on the ice, when they're wearing their Canadian and American jerseys. That rivalry is just as heated as it ever was. There's a quote from Hillary Knight that I love from a few years ago ahead of a rivalry series game where she said, if we were playing for a piece of gum, we would still take it seriously, you know? So that's just, that just tells you everything you need to know about that rivalry. So that is alive and well. When we're talking about other countries and, and that gap, is it closing fast enough? Probably not as fast as we all would have liked it to close over the years. Um, but I definitely think you're seeing some progress. Uh, Czechia is a country to watch for sure. They've um, won the bronze medal at the last two world championships. They're coached by Ottawa head coach Carla McLeod. And uh, there's a lot of really good players on that roster. Um, you know, Teresa Venishova and K Katarina Mrazova, to name a couple who we've seen do really well in the PWHL this season. Czechia is definitely a country to watch. I think you could see them break through to that gold medal game over the next few years, maybe sooner rather than later. And you can never rule out Finland as well. They've got one of the best goal, goal scorers in the world in Petra Nieminen and uh, a lot of other talent behind her as well. So those are a couple of countries to keep an eye on. Enough talk. Let's get the puck dropped. And when does it all begin? Well, the tournament kicks off April the 3rd. The final is on April the 14th. And if you're wondering when Canada's opening game is, it's Thursday, April 4th, as they take on Finland. Krissa, thanks as always. Yeah, thanks for having me.